All right, this video is on how to open a safe that does not have a uh, combination and how to repurpose the safe. Now this safe, unfortunately, someone buggered up the door. Uh, it came from an estate sale and the story is that the uh, prior owner had bought it from a storage auction sale and it has yet to, been, to be opened. Now the universal truth about uh, safes with lost combinations uh, is that uh, the safe is worth more than the contents. And I've been doing this since about 84 and I can say that's without a doubt, you rarely find anything inside a safe that has any value. Nevertheless, we're gonna open it today to see what's inside. And I'm gonna use it as a demonstration to show what you can do with a, a safe to repurpose when you have a lost combination. Generally, these new safes, this is a Brink, Brinks safe model 5054. Um, they generally are worth uh, less than what it would cost to take it to a locksmith and have the combination rediscovered and a new uh, key lock put in. So you, you, you don't have something that's worth a lot of money. Nevertheless, there are ways to, to repurpose and redo the safe to make it uh, useful again. And the first thing I want to do is tip it up to show you what the process is going to be. These are not heavy safes. Now on the bottom here, uh, I, I, you can see that there's, it's a very thin piece of metal. I've already removed that using a four and a half inch grinder and uh, so as to, to get access to the bottom. And, I, and the, the whole, the, the agenda on this is to turn this into something that you can still use after you finish opening, removing the contents and get at the back of the door. Because if you get at the back of the door, you can usually change the, uh, open the door so you can find the uh, combination and uh, replace the key. And many of them, some of them you can, it just isn't cost effective even doing it that way. Um, these kind of safes almost always will have a hole in the uh, bottom of the foot so you can put a, a bolt in there. This, that way you could bolt it to a metal table, tack weld the bolt, or even set it into concrete with long bolts and have it as a permanent safe to uh, store uh, safety items, not necessarily valuables. So they make a great little garage safe. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove th this, we're going to remove the insulation, then we're going to cut the rest of the piece out, get in, remove the contents, and see if there's anything valuable there, and then uh, the process is simply in reverse. You will take it and put a metal plate in on the, the inside and you can weld it with a wire welder or, or you can move on and, and take and replace those plates with two-part epoxy followed by a layer of concrete and then another metal plate and usually you repurpose metal, uh, find some old sheet metal off a car or an appliance will work and make it a little larger than the hole and, and, and either weld it in or epoxy it in. A weld would obviously work better if you're looking for heat resistance. The tools that you're going to need are uh, here in my wagon. And we're going to start out with, you, you need to have a hammer and chisel, hammer and some chisels. Uh, always have a pair, a good pair of leather gloves. I'll put those on right now. It doesn't hurt a darn thing to have a uh, set of goggles. You must wear goggles because you're going to be hammering, chipping, and grinding. The other tools a uh, four and a half inch grinder with cutting wheels and then a reciprocating saw with a metal blade and uh, you'll go through a couple of cutting wheels on a project like this so make sure you have a couple spares on hand and so the, the next thing that we're going to work on right here is uh, we're going to go after that insulation that's in there and try to pound that out so we can get out the next metal level and I would note that this is what people tried with the first time around. They tried to use a crowbar to uh, pry the thing open. Usually doesn't work. Some people will cut the hinges off, but there's always a bolt that goes into the side that prevents that. The only way to get at these is to destroy the side walls so where the hinges hit, uh, the side walls are a boat out and the door will fall out. But the door is the most valuable part of your safe, so you want to try to preserve that by going in through the bottom. And this is kind of the poor man's method of, of uh, doing it. I'm going to put my goggles on and we're going to get in there and see what's inside the safe. And my prediction is nothing. <clears throat> Of course, that was cut with a four and a half inch grinder. Took two wheels to get that off. It isn't very thick. It isn't very thick, so don't need to worry much about it. I put this on a big. I put it on a big tarp because this plaster stuff will go all over the place. You don't want that in your yard. You don't have to. 
and that makes for easy cleanup. You can see this isn't very tough to get rid of. position the camera make sure we're still on point here <laughs> 